Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am joined today on the summit by Sydney Youngblood, who is the new head coach of the Southeastern Oklahoma State University men's golf program. Coach Coach Youngblood. It sounds a little interesting saying that now. How nice is that to, for you to get to hear that? Um, it's definitely a transition for sure. Um, you know, going from a player and just being Sydney Youngblood or <clears throat> Um, or just whatever nickname I was given as a player. And hearing Coach Youngblood definitely makes me feel a little older. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do that to you. I, I I know that. Now, if you followed our channel, Sydney has been with us on some audio podcasts in the past a uh, couple of times. And so this is the first time that we get to actually see you on a video podcast. And it's uh, it's nice that you're rocking that Southeastern shirt already. So yep. congratulations for that. Uh, you played and uh, this is actually a kind of a homecoming for you as well, because you were in high school at Durant High School. Of course, Southeastern is in Durant, a four-time state champion in golf. And I know we've talked about that before, but it's a new audience right now. How how nice was that to, to get to win throughout your entire career? You know, it was definitely um, a dream of mine whenever I went into high school, knowing um, that it had only been done twice before. I just, I had really high goals and um, expectations for myself. And I thought, you know, if anything less than four was not good enough for what I wanted to accomplish in the long run. And I knew I could do it. And so being able to say that I did it was, I mean, it's still an awesome accomplishment and, you know, very proud of that for sure. It, and the cool thing is it will always be an awesome accomplishment and you'll always be able to say that uh, from here on out. Uh, you had a good college career as well. And, and I know there were uh, folks that appreciated the fact you went on and played at the University of Oklahoma during that time, actually logged a 64 at 1.2 along the way. Talk about your collegiate career then as we head into your coaching now career. Yeah. Um... I was really blessed to be able to stay in my home state and play at a division one school. Um, I, one thing that was important to me was staying close to home and staying close to family so I could come back and visit whenever I wanted. And, um, you know, and also having that support um, from your home base, because you grow up in the state of Oklahoma, golf isn't a very, it's not as big as football. There's not as many people in the state that, um, that compete in the sport. And so there's a smaller community, a smaller base. And so they're, they were very supportive um, whenever I went to OU. Um, as far as my collegiate career, I uh, unfortunately got hit with injuries the first two years of my career, and I had shoulder surgery my sophomore year. Um, but then once that finished, I came back, and I played really well. Shot my personal best 64 at our home event, the Schooner Fall Classic. And, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed my time at, um, at OU. I I've made a lifelong friend and, um, you know, I still talk to some of those girls from time to time. And it's really that my time at OU taught me a lot about the game of golf and how you should practice. And you don't have to practice for six, seven hours a day to be the best athlete ever. If you just dedicate a couple hours a day, two, three hours a day, you can accomplish a lot within that small window. Well, that's neat. That's uh, that really is is uh, interesting to get to hear the things that you learn along the way and and how you can improve. Uh, Sydney, I know that you're a stellar athlete uh, already coming in, and and now you get to take some of of not only what you've experienced there on the courses along the way, but you get to share that experience now with others as you are the new head coach for the Southeastern Golf Program. It is a men's golf program, and and so I know here we are in 2021. We may or may not uh, should be talking about this, but uh, what uh, what inspired you to say, hey, listen, I, th I think I can take this program, and, and, and how's the team reacting to you now being named the head coach? I definitely think it helped that I came on board last year as a GA. And so those boys, they were able to um, familiarize themselves with, with me just being a GA. And obviously being a girl, the first couple of weeks were a little hard because, you know, I'm a girl and 20, I'm the same age as them. And so, yeah. and so that definitely, I could tell that for the most part, most of them were like, okay, this is a girl. What does she know? And then once things started rolling and I think they, you know, we all kind of broke down our walls and was like, okay, we can do this. It's a little different. Obviously you're a girl. So boundaries have to be set up as far as communication and things like that, making sure no lines are crossed. But, um, 
you know, the boys, they, they're excited, you know, I'm blessed and thankful that they've taken to me and they've, you know, accepted me and as into this role. And so, um, you know, that's all you can ask for right now. That's pretty neat. Well, I don't think they have to look too far on your resume to find out that you do actually know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> uh, definitely bring a lot to the table in, in not only your experience, but your ability as well. So then looking into this year, we're heading into that uh, your goals, what are they for the upcoming season and, and how do you plan to go about them and, and achieve some of them? Um, obviously, I'm kind of a high goal setter. And so my personal goals for the team are going to be um, pretty high. I, you know, I obviously GAC championship would be number one right now. Um, just because um, the last couple of years, we've been ranked seventh and sixth in the, in the conference. And I know with, um, with us having a full season this year, you know, despite COVID, um, in spite of COVID. And so it's one of those things where, Hopefully, with the practice regimen we can have, we can accomplish that GAC championship. Uh, we've got several guys on our team who are fantastic players, and you know they just need a, few, a little fine tuning of some areas in their game. And I think we can easily accomplish some of the very high goals. That sounds good. Well, we're going to be watching, and we look forward to getting to visit with you again. Uh, it's nice to see you too. After all the times of getting to visit with you of uh, the audio. Uh, podcast. It's nice to get to see you on the other side of the screen there. So we'll be following you and look forward to seeing what you all do. Sydney Youngblood, the new head golf coach at Southeastern Oklahoma State University. Success to you and to the Savage Storm this year. And thank you so much for taking time with us here on the summit. Thank you for having me. Go Storm. <laughs>